Remembering number 22, hundreds gathering in northeastern Arizona tonight to say goodbye to Charles Ufella, the Hopi High School football player who died after getting hurt in a game this past weekend. ABC 15's Elizabeth Irwin is live at Hopi High School. And Elizabeth, it seems like and looks like he was loved by so many in that community. It's pretty incredible, Katie, and I can tell you this has been really a remarkable evening and one that's not finished yet. Go ahead and take a live look behind me. You can see members of the Hopi community, the high school here, still paying their respects more than three hours after the memorial initially started, leaving candles in Charles Uvella's memory. The entire Hopi community is here, and people came from across the state, across the country even, to pay their respects. It doesn't matter what level of the game. What tribe, what race, where you from? He's a part of the fraternity of football for life. A fraternity that is broken tonight. One of the hardest parts of this service was seeing the football team here at Hopi Junior Senior High School trying to come to terms with losing their friend. The team was asked to take the stage, and everyone in this auditorium stood and stayed standing the entire time. There were so many people here, there weren't enough seats. Dozens had to listen to the memorial from outside. Such a powerful tribute to a young man who touched everyone in this community, but no one knew him more than his dad. Wally Uvella Jr. spoke about his son, about how proud he was that Charles scored the only touchdown in what would be his last game, about how he said he couldn't have asked for a better son. Charles is. Charles's memory, and it's hard to speak right now because I don't want to think of him as a memory. But he'll live on forever. And we're back out here live, and I want to point out that you see the people here dropping off their candles, paying their respects, hugging, crying, supporting each other, but it's not just the Hopi community here. We've got rival high schools, rival football players that are here to pay their respects and show this community that they're here to support them. Something I thought was really emotional in tonight's ceremony. A lot of it was done in the Hopi language, but I was told that tonight there is no word in Hopi for goodbye. So instead, they're saying to Charles, see you later. That's exactly true. And I know this, uh, this touched so many people, so many people speaking out about his life. Thank you.